Alright, yo, back again, like Jason Joseph, with another review, spoiler, spew, as I call it. And we're going to do Star Trek Picard, Episode 7. Oh my god, this was such a heartwarming, super nostalgic episode. I mean, one, Riker and Troy, they had a child together. I mean, oh my god, just that, if you're a Next Generation fan... Just seeing that was just, oh man, it was spot on beautiful. So that was great. Um, I was hoping to see Hugh. That broke my heart. I can't believe they did that. I mean, look, my whole thing is when they announced Picard, I'm like, oh God, they're continuing next generation. Somebody's got to die. You know what I'm saying? I know they're going to kill one of my characters. Oh, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't want it to be him. One, I wanted to see what it looked like when that cube gets activated. It seems like we're going to be seeing that in the near future. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the board to have a lot to do with it, but I didn't think the board would be so much. I mean, I, I, I knew it would be the main part, but I didn't know we would just see so much. I thought it would be more of a mystery instead of so much of it being in your face. Maybe that makes more sense. Uh, what else about this episode was excellent? Um... Once again, the technology is on point. I, I, I love, once again, Star Trek, even back then, the next generation, the fact that we got all these tablets, these iPads. I mean, all this different kind of stuff that we got. To look, look how thin this is. They had this kind of stuff on Star Trek in the 90s. And it's basically telling us the kind of technology that we got now. A lot of it was first shown on fucking Star Trek. So even then, like I say, once... They figure out how to put a screen in thin air. That's going to be the next thing to replace the TV, replace the tablet. Uh, not to be off subject, but the Google Glasses that was going to come out where you could pretty much look through the glass. and do, More or less, that's basically what we're seeing on this show. Um, like I said, the technology is beautiful. I love that. I want to see more of the EMS program, goddammit. Every EMS program on Star Trek is fucking hilarious. I feel like they're depriving us of some extra comedy we could be getting. Um, second, they should let Rafi uh, be at the helm with a bottle. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, we're apparently they're letting us have an alcoholic on the show. You might as well do it right, baby. You know what I'm saying? I need to have me a fifth right here, and she needs to be doing what she's doing up there. I mean, just go on and go with it. I mean... Once again, Star Trek always had a sick, funny, slapstick style of comedy, and I like how they're implementing it in this as well. I mean, it's so many elements of the old next generation that are present here, but you really got to be paying attention to see them, and the comedy is just on point. Um, what else did I love about this show? I mean, like I say, I'm kind of thrown off because they done killed the doctor, in the previous episode. So I'm like, even if they get to this so-called home world, as they're saying, who the fuck is going to be there? Is it going to be other androids? I mean, in Next Generation, Dr. Soon died there. I'd love it if Lore was there. That, that would be just baller if Lore is running the fucking planet. Dude, how gangster would that be? So I'm calling that first. Lore could possibly be on that planet when they get there so we're gonna i'm putting that in the universe uh what else was great about that episode um like i say it was a very nice nostalgic episode oh man it was just like a breath of fresh air to see deanna troy and i mean riker they're together they're married everybody wondered about the future of these characters so you know we want to see war we want to see what happened with jordy you know what i'm saying i want to happen with o'brien uh, like I said, I still say in the final episode of the season, Q need to show the fuck up. Real talk. He should show up. Ah, Picard, you out here fucking around again, I see. I mean, that would be perfect to end the season. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to waste no more of your time. Episode 7 is beautiful. I'm probably going to watch it again. Um, these episode 7s, I'm telling you, they, they, they really know how to... Uh, so, uh, on all these episode sevens of all these series, Titans had a great episode seven. The Watchmen had a great episode seven. Picard's got a great episode seven. It's just crazy. So, yo, check it out. Picard, to me, single-handedly is saving the Star Trek universe. Um, 
I'm going to try to give Discovery another chance. A lot of people are telling me to. So so I'm just glad that Discovery has a fan base. So the fact that people are watching Discovery, I'm cool with that. I might not get into it. I didn't get into all the Star Treks. What did I not like? It took me a minute to get on the Voyager, but Seven of Nine kept me in there. So I'm just not a fan of Janeway. Maybe it was the actress that played her. I don't know, but I just never was a fan of her. Then what the hell to have Enterprise? Oh my God, what to do for Quantum Leap? Y'all can be mad at me all you want, and I am probably the only black Trekkie that you know, but I fucking hated Enterprise. It was boring as fuck. Dude, it was just trash to me. I just never liked it. I'm an ultimate Deep Space Nine fan, and Next Generation is like the pinnacle. Like I say, Captain Kirk will always be number one. Next Generation and Deep Space Nine to me are so fucking close because I love Avery Brooks and I love Patrick Stewart. They were just two great role models for me as a child growing up. I appreciated them both. But, man, Deep Space Nine was that jump off. Oh, my God. If I see anybody from Deep Space Nine, I'm flipping the fuck out. So I don't know how they would put an Avery Brooks cameo in there, putting that in the universe, too. I would love to see him. Or I could see Jake. Or I could see Quark's nephew. There's a couple of people I could see, and I'm cool with it. We already got to see Quark's little diner or cafe, so I know Quark is bound to pop up. It it's out, ain't no way in hell. Even if I'm just speaking in a on, in a fandom era, Quark is like, my name is there. You got to put me in the show. The actor that plays Quark probably called if he seen that shit, and they didn't even tell him. You got you got to put me in there. I, I'm not having it. You know what I'm saying? So. That was awesome. I think uh, Quark's place was in the last episode. Maybe it was like six, maybe five. I think it was in six. One of them when they was on that planet. But yeah, Picard, that shows a breath of fresh air. I love it. I uh, have no complaints. I'm laughing at all these other people that complains. I, I see these people trying to, with the clickbait. Star Trek's dying. It's not dying to me. I just wish CBS would put shit on actual television so it would catch fire like how the CSI franchises and criminal minds. If you put Picard and Discovery both on regular television, they will catch fire. I, I promise you. But, you know, I, I ain't an executive, so I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But, yo, that was my spew. Go check it out. Holla at your boy. Hey, things are going to get even better. The channel is going to get even better. I appreciate the few uh, subscribers I got. Hey, if you want to watch someone grow in this YouTube world, I I'm going to do some good things in the future. Just stick with me. Appreciate you. Like, subscribe if you can. Appreciate you. I'm out.